So webcams have been kind of a disappointing topic <laughs> to me for a while. If you watch any of my videos, you, you're probably well aware of that. I've, I've talked about it quite a bit. Most streamers use a webcam that's uh, about eight years old. The Logitech C920 was released in January of 2012. Or if you've spent big boy bucks, you've upgraded yourself to a Logitech Brio, which is a much newer, only three year old webcam. Wow. So modern. Anyway, apparently Logitech is also sick of hearing me complain because after my sponsored stream with them at CES, they pulled me into a tiny little room, shoved a webcam into my bag and was like, here, put this in your bag. Keep it secret, keep it safe. And since then I've had a little bit of a chance to toy around with it. The Logitech Stream Cam, come on. There we go, Logitech Stream Cam. That's what they're calling it. Obviously it's a complete redesign. From the image on the box, I thought it was gonna be this pretty tiny little thing, probably about the size of a C920 until I opened it up and uh, saw this big hunkin' chunk, <laughs> which I'm not opposed to, by the way. A bigger camera in general is a better camera. You got more space for more lens elements, bigger lens elements. I don't know if they necessarily did all those things to it. I'm just glad they didn't make it this teeny tiny little things and uh, prioritize compactness over quality when clearly streamers are willing to use something like this uh, they're obviously gonna be willing to use something like this. It's got a nice mesh front and a non-removable USB Type-C cable. And you can tell from the name of it that it's being marketed at streamers, being called the Stream Cam. Which, while I have good things to say about this camera and bad things to say about this camera, that's probably the most confusing part about this, is the marketing. I don't think this is a streamer camera. In fact, I don't even think they know what streamers want in a camera. And more than that, there was some marketing around this product that's, it's actually kind of sketchy and, and really bothered me. Let's just dive into it. Before we get started, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Owned.TV. Owned is a one-stop shop place for you to buy graphics, anything you need to make your stream look beautiful. You can pick up overlays, camera borders, panels, profile pictures and banners, anything that you need. Plus their packages are modular. So let's say you and your team all pick up this Rodan package. You can all choose different camera borders with the same design theme. So none of you have the exact same overlay. Go ahead and use the link down in the description below to pick up your own package and support the channel. Also, feel free to use code alpha for 40% off at purchase. Also, if you enjoy this kind of talk, you wanna talk more about gear, feel free to join me, twitch.tv slash Harris Heller. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel, hit the little bell, all the things, all the things. Let's go into the camera. So at first glance, this thing does have some pretty great improvements. I'm, I'm a big fan, first of all, of the new design. I think it's very modern, it's very sleek. It just doesn't have that cheap plastic look that I think a lot of webcams have. Automatic adjustments on this camera are fantastic, both with exposure and with autofocus. You can see as I make brightness adjustments to my lights, how quickly it adjusts the exposure to even out the brightness on my face, even when I go from super low settings to super bright settings. And I mean like super bright, like this is this is what the brightness looks like on my camera, my, my nice camera. So just so you can see how bright this is going, it adjusts for it pretty well. Handles it like a champ, never got the thing to overexpose. Same with autofocus. You know how a lot of webcams, when you like look kind of away from the camera, it does that like, wow, kind of like, you know what I mean? Like the the little autofocus, look, I, you, I'm making noises, but I think, I think it's describing it pretty well. The only way I was able to get this camera to do this is if I covered my face entirely. Even if I looked all the way to the side or all the way up or all the way down, it never gave me any weird autofocus bugs. And also something that's kind of a nice touch. Let's say these automatic settings don't give you exactly what you want. You can go into the streamer, the, the Logic, Logic Capture, I think it's called, the Logic Capture software and make some adjustments yourself, which are a little counterintuitive. It doesn't tell you what the adjustments are <laughs> as you're changing them, but you can figure it out pretty easily. You can make adjustments here in the app and then if you quit the app and open up OBS, those settings have saved to the camera. I would also say the color accuracy of the streamer cam is much more accurate than the Brio. The Brio tended to give a little bit of like a weird kind of greenish, orangish tint to it. Whereas uh, the skin tones on the stream cam were definitely much more accurate. But this is about as far as the, the positives go with this camera. Because at this point, uh, I started to get, I wouldn't say frustrated, but confused. Because at this point, they started adding in features that nobody's asking for, nobody's gonna use, and they left out some really important features that streamers have been begging for for years. For example, you can turn this camera on its little stand into portrait mode. Okay. <laughs> they kind of make it look like it's for like Instagrammers in the ad, which then made me confused why they call it a stream cam, because you can't stream to Instagram 
with a webcam. Plus, if Instagrammers are gonna make content, they're gonna do it with their phone. They're not gonna go out and buy a $170 webcam. They added image stabilization to it, you know, for all the times that you shake your webcam while you're streaming, I don't know. They did add one kind of neat feature to it called auto framing, where as you move around, it like zooms in and follows your face, which was kind of fun and could be fun for memeing. But in order to even use this or any of those previous weird features I mentioned, you have to have the Logitech cam software open in the background running and then feeding that into OBS. It doesn't work natively in OBS. Running a capture app like that in the background is gonna take up PC resources. And while I tested, and it generally only took an extra about three to 5%, that matters, especially for a lot of you that are on budget builds and every percent, every ounce of power on your CPU and GPU really makes a difference. Sometimes it's the difference between dropping frames and not dropping frames. I did ask them about this and they did say they were working with XSplit and OBS on making more integrated software built into the app, which is great. But I mean, we've been waiting on a webcam for like three years. If it wasn't ready, just push it back a couple months and finish the software before you release the camera. You're clearly not in a hurry here. But honestly, probably the most important thing that makes this a dud for me isn't what they did do to it, it's it's just what they didn't do. Streaming tech has made just incredible strides over the last year or two with companies like TC Helicon making just incredible audio devices with motorized faders and advanced but intuitive routing tables and Elgato making well, Elgato makes everything now, apparently. And then Logitech takes three years to make a new solid webcam and they lower the field of view from the 90 degrees that's on the Brio down to the same 78 degrees that's on the C920. But what's that about? A wide angle field of view is like one of the most sought after features of streamers. I mean, image quality improvements are great, but I feel like that's kind of the bottom line here in terms of three years of improvements on a camera. Get rid of the microphones. It would make sense if it was a conference call webcam, but this is a streamer cam and no streamer uses the built-in microphones on their webcam. They definitely don't need to. Take those out and give us what we're all asking for instead, which is an optical variable zoom. Let us choose whether we want to zoom out to, you know, maybe 95 degrees, even wider than the Brio, or zoom all the way in to 78, if that's what we want. The camera I use on stream zooms out all the way to 114 degrees. It's insanely wide, and I get asked about it multiple times a stream. 78 degrees is not gonna cut it. There's one last thing though that I have to mention that actually really bothered me. I took a look today at the Amazon listing that went up and almost none of the marketing material actually shows you what images from the camera look like. If you watch the intro video, there are like two shots taken from the webcam and they're like, less than a half second each. You scroll down, none of these images are taken by the webcam, which is fine, they don't claim to be, but people are going to think they are. The big problem I have, and I actually emailed them about this, is this picture right here that shows someone sitting in a living room with a very fancy shallow depth of field behind them. So here's a good example of a similar shot. I moved up to my living room, so we got natural lighting. I got uh, a detailed, beautiful background behind me like that girl. You can see how blurred the background is. This was not shot on the stream cam. This was shot on the Logitech stream cam. This shot was shot on about a $4,500, not meant to be a flex, but a very expensive full frame camera with a massive lens. This is the only way to get this kind of background blur is with a nice lens that has a wide open aperture and a sensor larger than a webcam sensor. So it's not that this is a bad webcam per se, it's just the fact that there is very, very little footage of the actual webcam footage on the ad. And the one place where it shows, hey look, this is our webcam footage, most likely isn't webcam footage. Now I actually reached out to Logitech and asked if this was webcam footage or if it was shot with a nice camera and they did say it was a touched up image, which wasn't my question. So I responded and said, okay, but was it a touched up image of the webcam or is it with a camera with a larger sensor and lens? To which they asked if we could jump on a call. <laughs> I don't like to make claims that I can't 100% validate, however, I'm 99% sure that this shot was actually taken on a, a, a full frame or comparable camera with a nice lens, which wouldn't be a big deal if it didn't say right next to it, Logitech Stream Cam. Do you, do you see the issue I'm dealing with here? In fact, this entire page in general is, is a very weird product page. Most of the product shots are shots of the camera, not from 
the camera. And so while I get it, that's marketing, that's how advertising works, this, this one image bothered me the most because it does claim to be the stream cam and it's, it's almost definitely not. By the way, I did get one final email from them, uh, not verifying anything, but saying that they don't believe that this was taken with the stream cam. This picture was actually taken a year ago when the software came out. I think they were trying to make it sound like this was just reused marketing materials that they threw on, which again would be fine, but they changed it to add the word stream cam on it when it wasn't taken with the stream cam. People are gonna see that and think that's the quality of the camera. Anyway, they said they'd get back to me about this tomorrow when they had more details. Uh, but anyone who's interested in picking one of these up and is looking at their marketing material know you're not seeing what the camera quality actually looks like. So watch YouTube videos, watch what I'm shooting, look up stuff here instead. Anyway, after all this, uh, I guess the question is, should you buy one? And look, if you're looking for a simple webcam with good image quality and you don't care about going any wider than 78 degrees, sure, it's a great webcam. There's nothing specifically designed for streamers in it, but it's a good webcam. If I were looking for a webcam myself, I would be hoping that the stream cam being launched actually lowers the cost of the Brio, because for me, that 90 degree field of view is something I can't change on the stream cam, but I can make color corrections to skin tones. However, looking at Amazon, that doesn't seem to be the case yet. Guys, if you have any more questions and you found this video helpful, uh, feel free to join my Twitch chat at the link down in the description below. Also, we have an amazing Discord of thousands of people that have used lots and lots of webcams. Feel free to jump in, join the community, ask questions there, get some help, make some friends. And as always, happy streaming. I gotta heal up. Oh, I got shot through the... He's one, he's one, he's one. I headshot him.